This video is going to be on um, the 2015 Cell Metabolism Journal article on fasting mimicking diet uh, from uh, Walter Longo and friends. Before I get to that graphical abstract, I'll go back and, and we'll cover the slide with the, um, the actual cover page of the article. Again, Cell Metabolism. Uh, July of 2015, and the title was A Periodic Diet That Mimics Fasting, uh, Promotes Multi-System Regeneration, Enhanced Cognitive Performance, and Health Span, and or Lifespan. Um, <clears throat> the FMD, that's where the term FD, FMD um, really hit uh, prime time. It rejuvenates the immune system, reduces cancer incidence in uh, this specific type of uh, lab rat, it promotes hippocampal neurogenesis. In other words, um, gr no, growth of the nerve system in the brain that is most responsible for memory. You know, it, those of you that may remember some of the activities with, um, with uh, dementia, one of the things we do is we get a, uh, an assessment of the hippocampal volume improves, again, objectively improved cognitive performance in those mice uh, and improved uh, risk factors in age-related diseases in humans. So <clears throat> you hear it and you say, well, that was mice. Uh, I'm not interested in that. I'm a human. Here's what they did. They looked at three different uh, groups, a type of yeast, uh, serratia, I can't remember the name of it. We'll cover it a little bit later, laboratory mice, and humans. So with the yeast, they looked at, uh, here, it was a simple way of doing the periodic fasting for the yeast. They'd put them uh, a couple of days in a nutrient wrench broth and then take them out and put a couple of days in um, nutrient poor broth. They saw increased uh, stress resistance and increased lifespan in the yeast. So here's what they did with mice. Again, a very similar mouse version of the fasting mimicking diet, periodic uh, fasting diet. They saw increased multi-system gener re regeneration, decrease adiposity, which just means decreased fat, uh, decreased cancer, decreased inflammatory diseases, decreased immune and cognitive, uh, excuse me, increased immune and cognitive uh, rejuvenation and performance, and increased lifespan. So here's what they found in humans. They, they took a group of humans and put them through the uh, process as well, which is the classic um, uh, FMD, uh, fasting mimicking uh, diet process that you get with Prolon. They saw increased regeneration markers, uh, decreased diabetes, decreased uh, cardiovascular uh, disease markers, decreased cancer markers, and decreased aging. So again, very uh, interesting article. To go into the introduction, they talk about, and here's a couple of key points here. This was not the first article to show improvement from uh, different versions of fasting. That's been going on for, gosh, many, many decades at this point, I believe. Uh, I've covered that in several uh, other videos. Um, Walter Longo's uh, professor um, at UCLA was a major uh, proponent of um, cal caloric restriction. Now, here are uh, in his introduction, he, couple, he um, quoted a couple of his own articles, which authors often do. Um, but here's another uh, component. Fasting, the most extreme form of um, dietary restriction, entails the absence from all food. It can be applied in a chronic manner as intermittent fasting or periodically as prolonged fasting, uh, two days or more. And he has several articles on that already. And again, <clears throat> what his goal was here was to mimic that fasting process. So those of you who think, well, the um, fasting mimicking diet has a lot of great science behind it, but other types of fasting do not, that's not true. The other types of fasting were the original um, uh, scientifically proven uh, Dietary, um, dietary benefit to humans. Now, <clears throat> in humans, IF, or intermittent fasting, and less severe regimens, 
uh, consumption of probably 500 cal of approximately 500 calories per day for two days a week have beneficial effects on insulin, glucose, C-reactive protein, and blood pressure. So that last sentence is a key point too. You recognize that diet? It's the 5-2 diet, taking two days every week and going down to a 500 calorie per day. Um, those of you that don't like Jimmy Kimmel were upset that I linked that diet to him, but he lost about 25 pounds on that 5-2 diet as well. So again, uh, the fasting mimicking diet itself is not the only diet that's shown a lot of great um, biological improvements. They've also, also seen uh, <clears throat> increased resiliency against toxins, toxic conditions, and again, just multiple items here. Decrease in blood glucose, insulin, insulin-like growth factor, and uh, improved autophagy. So I'm not going to spend much more time on that. Again, um, <clears throat> looking at increased uh, IGF, insulin-like growth factor is a biomarker that's associated with uh, increased growth but decreased uh, lifespan. Uh, fasting mimicking diet and other types of diets uh, have positive impact on that. They decrease IGF and increase uh, levels of ketone bodies. So, <clears throat> In this article, uh, Longo is saying, we tested the hypothesis that cycles of the fasting mimicking diet lasting four days, followed by a standard ad lib diet, could promote health span in, in mice. And additionally, they tested three cycles of a similar FMD in a pilot randomized clinical study with 38 subjects. These were humans, 19 of whom were assigned to the FMD diet. So, <clears throat> again, um, going into more details, results and discussion. Uh, this was the uh, the name of the uh, the fungus uh, that they used. It was uh, C. cerevisiae, um, and they saw improved lifespan. Um, these results indicate that uh, periodic fasting can protect simple organisms like. Um, this fungus um, or yeast from both toxins and aging by mechanisms that are in part independent of conserved prolongevity transcription factors. What they're talking about here is that there are types of yeast that have uh, some uh, prolongevity genetics to them. They took both components, yeast that had the um, the prolongevity genetics and yeast that did not have the prolongevity genetics in both groups of yeast, they saw the improved longevity um, impact of fasting mimicking or periodic fasting. This gets the next few slides get into uh, some of the details. Again, uh, as usual, I'm struggling with my uh, the visual components, but here's basically I'll try to summarize it verbally and and show you some of the. Um, some of the images. So A and B, periodic fasting um, on lifespan. And again, significant improvement in lifespan of the, um, of the yeast. Up here, uh, weight profile. There was a decreased weight profile. The, the red was the fasting mimicking uh, group and the gray in D here, D as in dog, uh, was the group that fed um, ad lib. So again, what you see is that being, and you're going to see this general theme. Not only is there a general theme of improved uh, lifespan, improved biomarkers, it goes along with a general theme of decreased body mass. So you get back to um, some of the videos that I've done on this, and I keep saying, you know what? It doesn't matter whether you're doing water fasting, uh, if you if you're keeping control of your uh, body mass through water fasting, carnivore diet, uh, keto diet, etc., decreasing that body mass, keeping uh, thin and lean is a big, big deal for health and longevity. This gets into um, adipose tissue or fat tissue in uh, areas of the spine for the mice, several other uh, components. I won't, I won't uh, 
bore us too long with that slide. Again, this slide is looking at um, cancer, and it saw significant improvements in cancer. I'll just point out this one on K here. Um, the red dots on K, if you can see them, were the diet or were the uh, mice mice on the fasting mimicking diet, and the red dot is the timeline or the time and age when they developed a cancer. You see these little grayish white dots beneath them? Uh, those were the times that the control group developed a cancer. So again, the control group started developing cancers at uh, 20 months, 22 months, 24. They'd already had quite a few number of cancers before the first FMD mouse got a cancer. So again, very interesting visual data. I'll put the link, uh, as, you, as usual, in the uh, description of the article. A couple of other visual things. Um, this is on mental function. So, um, Rotorod, which is a type of uh, uh, mental performance activity, as you see, the red line is um, fasting, the... Uh, Fasting mimicking group and the dark line is the control group. So again, significant improvements in mental function in the um, mice undergoing FMD, fasting mimicking diet. You see it in a pattern throughout the image. This uh, image, this pattern beneath is um, looking at another type of uh, mental performance. The black area here, which is more prevalent on this one, it's basically doing things at random. The light blue and white has more to do with uh, using spatial cues and performing more quickly. And yes, again, the, um, this group with more, that did more of their work at, basically just at random was the control group compared to the, the group that had less black, less random uh, activity, and it was the uh, FMD group. So. Decreasing calories uh, has a, makes a big deal in terms of performance. Um, <clears throat> they looked at uh, neurogenesis, uh, hippocampal neurogenesis. Again, the hippocampus is what for, helps us form uh, short and long-term memory uh, for humans as well as other animals. They looked at the hippocampal volume in uh, these lab mice and, again, significant improvement. Um, in the FMD group. And interesting where the arrow is pointing is uh, actual IGF level in the uh, hippocampus in uh, these, um, these mice. So again, it's beginning, you start asking the question, what is it IGF, does IGF have something to do with this? How about overall survival? Uh, again, guess which, you got your grayish white, uh, well, here's the time since how long they lived, age in months here, and the percentage of uh, mice in the uh, control, control and uh, FMD populations. Guess which line is red and which line is uh, whitish gray? Yep, the, um, the whitish gray is the control group. The, uh, the red line group lived longer. Same thing with uh, these, uh, these other... Um, Visuals are, again, showing the same thing. So, again, thank you for putting up with the visuals. Um, and now you begin to see why uh, there's been so much interest in the fasting mimicking diet. There's good reason for it. And again, you, begin, you also see that it's, uh, it's not just the fasting mimicking diet. Other types of uh, diets are very, very helpful as well. This one's just got some really good data on it. Thanks for your interest. Thanks, and if you hit that uh, subscribe or like button, it makes a big difference. Um, an even bigger difference happens when you share. You can share on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. When you do that, it makes a big difference in terms of the algorithm. It sends um, this to other people realizing that humans think this is interesting information and helpful. Um, thank you again.